analysis. How are you doing guys and welcome to another episode of Finalysis. Yesterday we had the press conference. That was for Joshua V. Hellenius. We all know that um, Dylan White was cancelled due to adverse findings from VADA. So now we move on. The press conference was a pretty low-key affair. Um, Derek Chisora, he had a lot to say. He talked about a 10-year ban for any fighter that's tested positive. Um, and he also had a joke and a go at Eddie, saying that Eddie hasn't paid him, but he's getting paid by Skills Challenge for this fight. But anyway, moving on to the fight, Robert Hellenius as a replacement. Now, me personally, I think this is a good fight. Um, I'm not going to say that, oh, yeah, this is a great fight. For what it is, for a late cancellation... Robert Hellenius fits the bill. AJ is expected to win, obviously. And I see him winning in six rounds, but I don't see him just going in there recklessly and trying to knock him out in one round just because Deontay Wilder did. I see AJ looking to put together some of the things that he's been practising with Derek James. Maybe even for the first round, but he's not going to mess about. He's going to be cautious. And when the opportunity arises, I think AJ will take him out. And I believe he will take him out in fashion, in good fashion. AJ seems up for this. And he was up for this before the, um, well, coming into the Dylan, well, you know, with Dylan, when Dylan White was the guy he was going to be fighting. I seen an interview and AJ was saying, he needs to win this with a knockout. Um, that's what he's coming for, and that's what he wants. He was disappointed in his performance against Franklin. I personally thought it was a good performance for a guy coming back, but he was disappointed. So now here we are with um, Robert Hellenius, who is a six foot nine big guy, and he's a pretty good boxer. Um, he has been beaten by Wilder. He's been beaten by Gerald Washington. Um, now, Hellenius said when he, because he, he was a sparring partner for Wilder, and he said when he fought Wilder, in sparring, Wilder never takes a, a step back. He never takes, takes a step back. And in this fight, he wanted to push him back. So he pressed the action, and he paid the price, and he was took out in round one. Because um, Wilder, whether we like it or not, he may not be a good boxer, but he does pack a punch. Um, so this is where we're at. Um, and it's I'm looking forward to it. And I see AJ finishing this within about six rounds. That's what I give it, six rounds by knockout. Um, so Saturday, August the 12th at the O2 Arena. And then he gets through this. And he's got the big one in December. Or it could be January. And that's Wilder. And if I'm honest with you, Wilder may pack a punch. But I don't like this idea of everyone saying, oh, he's got to do this to get the Wilder fight. Who is Wilder? What has Wilder done? When Anthony Joshua was unified champion, taking fighting everybody, Wilder was sitting there with that green belt holding on to it, doing nothing. And the WBC was allowing him. And now, they're doing the same thing with the current WBC champion. Allowing him to hold that belt hostage. That belt has been held hostage now for a good part of... Wow. We're talking a long time. Well, anyway... Let's focus on the fight in hand. And guys, it's on this Saturday at the O2. It's on the design. It's not on pay-per-view, which is a bonus. So I'm looking forward to it. This will put AJ back with confidence. Hey guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.